guys, welcome back to another video. This is Motivation for Young Christians. Welcome back, welcome back. In today's Bible study, we'll be diving into John chapter 12, verses 1 through 11. To begin, we're going to be doing a prayer by me. If you guys can, just bow your head and close your eyes. Father God, we thank you for this day that you have made. I will rejoice and be glad in God. Father God, you're holy, you're worthy, you're mighty. You are Jehovah God. I pray that now as I'm about to dive into your word, God. I pray that your word will be able to speak to me, God. I pray that I'll be able to apply your word somewhere, somehow in my life, God. I pray that you continue to be with me each and every day, God. I pray that no open form against me shall prosper, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Chapter 12 Jesus Anointed at Bethany. Six days before the Passover celebration began, Jesus arrived in Bethany, the home of Lazarus, the man he had raised from the dead. A dinner was prepared in Jesus' honor. Martha served, and Lazarus was among those who ate with him. Okay, just to give you guys a little backstory um, from John chapter 11, Lazarus got very, very sick, and he ended up dying, and Jesus rose him from the dead. Verse 2, uh, because of Jesus rose him from the dead, they're having a uh, dinner to honor Jesus for what he did. Then Mary took a 12-ounce jar of expensive perfume made from essence of nard, and she anointed Jesus' feet with it, wiping his feet with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance. But Judas Iscariot, the disciple who would soon betray him, said, That perfume was worth a year's wages. It should have been sold and the money given to the poor. At the dinner, Mary poured expensive perfume all over Jesus' feet and wiped them with her hair. And the fragrance went and filled up the room. And Judas, the disciple that ended up betraying Jesus later on, and John, we will be finding that out. He he said that their fragrance was expensive and it should have been sold and the money should have been given to the poor. Not that he cared for the poor. He was a thief. And since he was in charge of the disciples' money, he often stole some for himself. But Judith actually didn't care. He was a thief. Since he was in charge of the disciples' money, he often stole some of the money for himself. Jesus replied, Leave her alone. She did this in preparation for my burial. You will always have the poor among you, but you will not always have me. Verses 7 and verse 8 are important verses. And Jesus told Jesus to leave Mary alone because Mary is in preparation for his burial. Jesus will die later on but he will be rosen back from the dead. In verses 8, it says, you will always have the poor around me, but you'll not always have me, which is true, because Jesus will die later on, and after he dies, he'll go back into heaven, so he'll no longer be with us physically, but always be with us spiritually. When all the people heard of Jesus' arrival, they flocked to see him, and also to see Lazarus, the man Jesus had raised from the dead. Then the leading priests decided to kill Lazarus, too, for it was because of him that many of the people had deserted them and believed in Jesus. When, when the people heard that Jesus arrived, they all flocked around them to see Judas. As Judas died and then came back to life, so a lot of people were amazed to see him and see the work that Jesus did. And the leading priest, he decided to kill Lazarus. Because they were already planning to kill Jesus, but they're also going to kill Lazarus too because him being raised from the dead um, showed people the power and what Jesus can do. And people started to believe in Jesus because of that. And the priests did not like that because their people deserted from them and started believing in Jesus. The priests, the leading priests were always planning to kill Jesus and now they added Lazarus onto the list of people they want to kill. That's the end of the scripture for today, guys. I'm going to do my closing prayer, then I'm going to lead into my outro. Father God, we thank you for this day that you've made. I will rejoice beyond the God. I pray that you continue to be with me each and every day, God. I pray that no open form against me shall prosper, God. I pray that you help me through the highs, the lows, the go rounds, and come around with life, God. I pray that you continue to be with me, God. I pray, as now as I just want to read your word, God, I pray that your word was blessed, God. I pray 
that I got the information, I was able to understand the scripture, God. I pray that the viewers will be able to understand the scripture too, God. I pray that you continue to dwell in me and in the viewers' life each and every day, God. In Jesus' name, amen. This is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much each and every week for coming back to watch these videos for coming back in this journey with me. I pray that you got something from this video. I pray that you was taking notes. And this is the end of the video. If you haven't already liked the video, subscribe if you're new. Turn on your post notification. This is motivation for young Christians. Goodbye.